good morning students so as you all know your periodic tests are over now and we were doing chapter 8 so today from today onwards we will continue with our chapter 8 which is our forest resources so till now we have read about what is a forest and the importance of forest so what is a forest a forest is a large piece of land where which is covered with different types of trees and different types of plants so a forest is a large area of land thickly covered with trees plants bushes creepers and grass today in this session we are going to read about the five different types of forest which are found in india so there are five main types of forest in india they are first is the mountain forest which is found on the mountainous areas of himalayas second is deciduous forest and this type of forest is mostly found in india so in india mostly deciduous type of forest is found then you have swamp forest evergreen forest and lastly you have desert or thorn forest so today we are going to read about two types of forest which is mountain forest and deciduous forest so this type of forest stretches from western himalayas to the eastern himalayas the trees found in the western part are broad leafed like oak and walnut the eastern part receives heavy rainfall and the vegetation here is lush and green some of the trees found in this region are fern and bamboo so children as the name suggests mountain forest is found in the mountains so it is found in the mountainous areas of himalayas now these type of forest are found or they stretch from western part of himalayas to the eastern part of himalaya so from it starts from western part of himalayas or west side of the himalayas and it stretches all the way to the eastern part of himalayas now children on the western part you will find that the leaves of such trees are broad in shape so on western part the leaves of the trees are broad and the examples of broad shaped leaves are oak and walnut so in oak and walnut trees you will find that the leaves of these two trees are very broad or they are very wide now in eastern part children due to very heavy rainfall the vegetation is lush and green so since this part of himalayas receives good amount of rainfall that is why the trees and plants grow very well that is why a large amount of trees and plants are found in this eastern part of himalayas because here there is very good amount of rainfall now the two types of trees which are found on the eastern part of himalayas are fern and bamboo so on the eastern part you will find fern and bamboo and on the western part of himalayas you will find oak and walnut trees now coniferous trees are tall cone shaped and have needle like leaves these trees are also found in the higher regions of the himalayas jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and arunachal pradesh cheer deodar fir pine oak maple and spruce are found in the higher regions so children firstly what do you mean by what do you mean by coniferous trees so children coniferous trees are cone shaped trees so these trees are like cones i am sure you have seen ice cream cones 
so these trees are cone shaped means they are they look like ice cream cones so this type of trees are found in mountain forest so cone like trees are found in mountain forest and such type of trees are very tall so they are very big and they have cone shaped and needle like leaves so the trees are cone shaped means they resemble an ice cream cone and the leaves are needle like there is a picture of how the needle leaves look like so these type of needle or pointed leaves are found in the coniferous trees now where do you find coniferous trees so coniferous trees children they are found in the higher region means in the higher areas of himalayas and also in the states of jammu and kashmir himachal pradesh uttarakhand and arunachal pradesh so in all these places you will find coniferous trees now what are the examples of coniferous trees so the examples of coniferous trees are cheer deodar fir oak maple pine and spruce all these are examples of coniferous trees now children pine forests are found on the steep dry slopes of shivalik hills western and central himalayas and khasi naga and manipur hills alpine forests are found in the regions where there is heavy snowfall most alpine are found all along himalayas and on higher hills near the myanmar border so children mountain forest can be divided into two category one is pine forest and the other one is alpine forest so pine forest children these type of forests are found on the steep dry slopes of shivalik hills western and central himalayas khasi naga and manipur hills whereas alpine forests are found in the areas where there is heavy snowfall so where snowfall happens or where snowfall occurs there you will find alpine forest and alpine forests are also found along the himalayas on the higher hills and also near the myanmar border so children the difference between alpine forest and pine forest is that pine forests are found on the lower regions of himalayas so in the simple terms we can say that pine forest is found on the lower places of himalayas and alpine forests are found on the higher places of himalayas so pine and alpine forest both come under the mountain forest only pine forest are found on the lower places of himalayas and alpine forest are found on the higher places of himalayas now we will read about deciduous forest the deciduous forest covers a large part of india the trees found in this region are tall with broad trunks they usually have branching trunks and roots to hold them firmly to the ground so children deciduous forest are mostly found in india so these type of forest are found maximum in india and the deciduous trees have broad trunks and they are also very tall so they have broad means they have huge trunk huge big trunk and the shape also is very tall so the deciduous forests are very tall in height also now these type of trees have branching trunks branching trunks means from the trunks only the branches grow out so these have these trees have branching trunks and they also have got very long roots so deciduous forest have long roots which grow which go deep into the ground which grow go deep into the soil to hold them firmly or tightly onto the ground since these trees are very big so that is why the roots are also very long so that these trees can be held firmly on the ground 
Now some of the taller trees shed their leaves in the dry season. There is another layer of evergreen shrubs below the taller trees. Now children deciduous forests are those type of forests that shed their leaves once in a year in the dry season. So this is an important feature of deciduous forest that the trees of these forests they will shed means they will lose their leaves once in a year in the dry season and also children there is another layer of evergreen shrubs just below the taller trees so there is a layer of smaller plants which grow just below these tall trees now some of the trees found in this region are mango neem bamboo shisham and rosewood so children these are the examples of deciduous trees so what are the examples of deciduous trees mango neem bamboo shisham and rosewood all these are the examples of deciduous trees now the wood of these trees is expensive and hard and is mainly used for building houses and furniture. Deciduous forests can be found in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So children, the wood of all these trees, the wood of the deciduous trees are very expensive means they are very costly and they are very hard also means these wood are very strong also and that is why we use them for making our furniture and also for making our houses so for building houses and furniture we use trees of deciduous forest now lastly children where are these trees found so deciduous forest is found in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Bihar, Odisha, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Kerala and Tamil Nadu. So in Jharkhand also children, we have deciduous forest only. Okay, so children, today we will read till here only. So today we read about mountain forest which grows on the mountain. Then we read about deciduous forest which are found in large part of India. Now children, you will revise the portion which is taught today and I will see you all in the next session. If you have any doubts, you can message me on Campus Care. Thank you children.